can't figure out how to load, import, or use a high-level snapshot, this video is for you. I'm gonna walk you through the exact steps that you need to take to import a snapshot, load it to your account, and start editing right away. Let's dive in. What is a high-level snapshot? Simply put, this is an account copy that you can create based on one of your high-level accounts. However, these can also be based on someone else's account. For example, the students in my 12-month mentorship receive my high-level snapshots, which were based on my account. So if you were to install a snapshot from someone else's account, I'll walk you through the steps of doing that. And we are gonna do this using a typical share link. However, the process does not change whether you're using that share link, whether that share link is emailed to you or that permanent link. Once I click get link, I'm then going to be able to copy this link. So if I were going to install a snapshot into my high level account, the first thing to know is that simply using the link does not load the snapshot into your account. There are a couple of different steps that we need to take. The first is to make sure that you're logged in to the high level account that you would like this snapshot to be loaded onto. It will make the process much easier. If that means that you need to create an account first, I'd encourage you to do that. You can do the two week free trial and still utilize a snapshot. However, within two weeks, it's very unlikely that you're really gonna get the opportunity to edit and utilize all of the features provided in a snapshot. And you would ultimately need to extend if you want to keep that in your account and keep it in use. So if I'm logged into my account, I am now going to simply click on a new tab and I'm gonna paste that link into the browser. If this is a link that someone has linked in a PDF or something like that, you would simply click on the link in the exact same way and it would open that link in a browser. Once I click enter, I am then going to see a screen that says import snapshot. Do you want to import this snapshot to this account? I'm gonna click on yes, import now. So as you can see, this is my agency view. It's not loading this snapshot into a sub account. Ultimately, we need to take two additional steps. We are going to click on accounts first, and then we are going to navigate to the account that we would like to load this snapshot on. If you first need to create a sub account, which you would find by clicking on the drop down here, then you can do that first. However, I'm just gonna show you the exact steps that we would take without actually loading this snapshot because it's my own snapshot, therefore I don't need to load this. We're gonna click on that view details button of the specific account you would like to load this snapshot onto. The second step would be to click on this actions drop down and click load snapshot. So when I click on this snapshot button, I'm likely going to see all of these right here. So these are the vertical snapshots. These are from high level for different industries. While they will give you a jump start, they're ultimately a lot more generic and not really strategy specific in the way that ours are that we provide to our students. But these are probably the ones that you will see first. However, if you have any of your own already created, you will see them with that word own. And then anything that you've imported, it's going to be listed with imported. So if you're trying to load a snapshot from someone else, you need to make sure that it says imported before the name of that snapshot to confirm that this was in fact one that you pulled into your account, not one that you created yourself and not one that is provided by high level as one of their verticals. I would then click on that snapshot and I'm gonna hit proceed. We now see an option to either select everything from the account or to skip. We also have the option to skip individual sections or if I click this drop down, I'm gonna be able to skip individual elements. 
For example, if I already have a high level account, but maybe it's just not fully set up, but we are using the calendar for bookings, I probably don't want to load new calendars into my account given that I can just use the calendar I already have and connect it to the workflows or triggers that are from this snapshot. So I might wanna skip all three of these or I could just skip the entire section. So let's say I want to skip two of them and leave this one to import into my account. Then I would just skip these two and leave this one selected or we can just skip all of them. We also have the same option for campaigns, custom fields, custom values, and every other aspect of your high-level account. One thing I would check on is the custom fields. If you have a snapshot that's not necessarily designed for your specific industry, there may be custom fields in there for the custom forms that were created. You may not need those fields. While it's not really gonna hurt you, it is just one less thing you'll have to delete if you want to keep your account really up to date with only the items that you are personally using. I highly select that you do not go through and try and pick and choose every aspect to skip or select. For example, custom values. A lot of the custom values may not be something that you realize that you need, but it is something you actually need for that specific snapshot. So if you're ever confused about something you might need or might not need, it'd be great to ask the owner of the snapshot. However, the custom fields should be fairly self-explanatory in terms of the questions that you would be asking your leads or the information that you may need to save. Again, always best to ask the owner of the snapshot, is this something that's necessary for the snapshot to function as it's intended, or is this something I can simply skip over? Folders are something I would also not skip as that is an organizational tool inside of the account. Funnels, links, pipelines, tags, triggers, etc. I would likely leave those all in there. It may be something that you don't fully realize what it is until you see it and you may wanna keep it. It also is something you can easily delete afterwards if you decide you don't want to keep it or that you simply don't need it at that time. Ultimately, having those items in your account are not necessarily going to hurt you because they will be left in draft status or in the case of a funnel, it's not in use unless you publish it and you're actively using that link. So calendars is something I would pay attention to. The custom fields is something I would also pay attention to. Everything else overall should be okay in terms of going ahead and loading it into your account, even if you're not sure that you will need every single aspect. We're then going to click on proceed and it's going to check for conflicts. If there are conflicts, it'll let you know here. And then if we're all good, we can go ahead and click proceed. I'm not going to do that in this video because I don't need to load this snapshot that I already own. However, it will take a few minutes for all of those assets to propagate inside of the account. So if you automatically go to the account that you're looking for after this is finished by clicking that drop down, you may not see everything in there. You may not see anything the second after you click finish. So give it a couple of minutes, let it populate, and then you're gonna be able to go into the account, start editing the funnels, the campaigns, the workflows or triggers, and make the snapshot your own. Hopefully this helps, and I look forward to hearing how much you love your new high-level snapshot. If you want more videos on Go High Level, marketing campaigns, automations, social media marketing, Facebook and Instagram ads, or more, make sure you like this video, comment if you have questions, and subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all our latest content and tutorials.